Hey. Hi. Hey, hey. A ho de ho. A boom 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 game. A boom 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 game of. A boom 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 Game of Thrones. Hi. Um, so the last time I loaded <laughs> the game, it froze on me. Uh, maybe my controls just aren't... Oh, it definitely registers clicks of... No, I don't want to do settings. I'm, I'm really fine. I just want to play a video game. Um, that's not your slogan. I like Game of Thrones quite a bit, and um, this is a video game. I'm the best host. Let's game. Let's let's play a Game of Thrones. Let's begin episode one of Thrones. Um, Polo is asleep. He's super cute. He is what I build the brand based on. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Sort of. That's that's kind of true. That's kind of oh. For thousands of years. I'm not, I'm not gonna read all of that in that silly voice. I'm not I'm I'm not gonna do that. I'm sorry, Twitch. <clears throat> now the fate of the house forest uh, so singing. I don't know the song. I thought I turned subtitles on. Is it just those two guys singing? The great Jamie Lannister, I love us. Bye, Lobos. Brought to his knees by the men Other subtitles. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. I don't know. It might. <clears throat> oh, my name is like blocking. I'm gonna wait and see if the sword cleans itself. Should I be playing this with a mouse? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shrink myself just a little, just a little. Bit. My little border here. That's what it sounds like when you shrink things. Uh, I wish the sound would stay active. Oh man, cursor with a joystick. I don't know if I like this. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with. I'm gonna. I can. I can always. I can always. <clears throat> Pick up. There. See, it cleaned itself. It's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all. Oh, that's that's. There's now some that clipping. A proper sword. Oh, it's oh, going right into my thigh. Someday. You. You'll never have a sword like that. I've got this one. I say that as a friend. Um, honest, you are just a squire. Don't be, don't be an, an arse. Apologies, your lordship. No one likes an arse. I had a hand in it, you know. I'm sure that you did. A hand in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Oh. Next, um, they'll tell um, us um. he caught Tyrion too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny Man here, and they'll say it was them. Subtitles. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? I brought him to you can the trust that other guy. Forrester. Absolutely. Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. <laughs> You're questioning Norrin's honor. Oh. I'm questioning oh. Norrin's story. Which grows more far fetched every time he tells it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. Yeah, right. th thanks. Th thank you. You're welcome. Th thank you. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. But choices. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. 
They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. Ah. <laughs> the Lord's everyone's friend, too. <laughs> the night we celebrate. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. No, no, Juice. The Rob Stark, the King in the North. The, the King, King in the North. North. Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor Wait. to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. Wait. Gods are fabulous. I, I don't know. If... To Casterly Rock. Ride. Death to the Lannisters. I think this is the Forrester slogan. Iron from ice. Yeah. Got it. This wine is terrible. Let's find some better wine. Yes, my lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. You are his father. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he would. Just slowly pacing yes, that same is also the campfire. Question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. With me, my lord. You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. Sure you could. How well, shall I reward good your loyalty? Square. What can I offer you? Um, he's he's Surely a good boy. Well to bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. Yeah. You have more honor than those who were born to it. <laughs> yeah, those who yeah I do. Look at that fucking smirk. Your name is my squire. Squire Smirk. Those doubts entirely. It would be an honor That's who I'm playing to see you as. riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Uh, I, I Not don't as a squire, I, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. Drunk it's well and by a campfire. The um, hard work has paid off. I you, want to make this I guy... I won't let you down. Yes, That's Squire Smug. But for now, there we go. between us. <clears throat> We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't mm. want the other squires. Does he mean as a knight? Scottish. Yes, my lord. Or as like a man at arms? Now go and find Roderick. Like, is he offering to knight me, Hello, but lord. later? Thank you. Thanks, Lobos. Have fun. What the hell? Don't be smug. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? <laughs> Come on. Uh, up to you. Uh, yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. Yes, so, you tell I me that you. every five minutes. You should help me. Yes. That's not a thing, being a squire longer than someone. I don't think. Aren't you squired to like a specific knight? Fetch my wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, liar, and an arrogant prick. It's your job to do the work and stop complaining. Yeah. You try Squire in for Nora and see how much you like it. Ah, uh, that's where you're no. lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. I like but bacon. Not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if they didn't, at this rate will never be never more mind. than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. I think there are far worse oh, fates in the Game of Thrones universe. Crazy. What a waste of fucking time. Give it to <laughs> You'll get Like, that. of all the things that you could be in the Game of Thrones universe, a squire my seems uncle pretty good. In house Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's been walking right for a minute and a half. What? Oh. Oh. This. This is. Oh. <laughs> this is not a party I want to be at. <laughs> you lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders, in a generous mood. Uh, fucking phrase. Fucking phrase, man. Nice night for a wedding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Squire, Squire, Squire Smug wants to leave. Uh. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Uh, my name is Squire what? Smug. What's wrong? Oh 
my god, the twins have such good speakers. Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. That's surround sound. You've had too much wine. I am not carrying these by myself. I'm just gonna slowly back away from the red way. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Uh, 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 this guy hates pig farmers, and the other guy the offered to knight me. Good luck. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, Game of Thrones. See? You could be a way worse thing than a squire. You could be fucking dead. Oh. Run, Squire Smug. Oh, what? That's... Wait. Um, there. Got to got a quick time it. Oh. That's the Lord's son, I guess. I have to keep an eye out for it. Uh, uh, quick time. Uh. Press and hold with R C. Ah. Yeah! Ah. <laughs> Ready, boy. Oh my god! Whoa! Just Captain America! Shoot that one! Yeah! He looks dangerous! Ugh! Uh. Archie! Ah, oh, I forgot about the- oh! Yeah! <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, that was pretty good. Oh yeah, crawling sequences. Mash, 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 mash! Uh, I lost my shield. Need some gears. Oh. How am I gonna help just by charging in with literally no weapons? Um. Oh. That's a good prompt. Oh. Oh, brutal. Roderick, there's guys. Watch out for Watch out for the guys with the Oh my god, he was doing fine. Good fucking My lord. Got it. I'm Roderick. Yes, someone distracted him. Speak up, Garrett. The Freys. They they slaughtered him, my lord. They did do that. I didn't lie. I'm not squire a liar. Uh... Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? Actually, I... I... I didn't leave him. But I couldn't save him. I didn't leave him. Find a weapon. Quickly. I didn't l wait. Um, here, it's that. Ah, yeah. Ah. Uh. Uh. Thanks. Oh, God. Not afraid, you fucking traitor. Go, my lord, while there's still time. We gonna assassinate some Freys? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Th Wait, that sword. Why didn't you still have to pick up that sword? That you oh God. Oh man. Seven hells. You wounded, my lord. I've suffered worse. Well, the Frey says time's over. Ah. with your life. Return it to Ironrath where it belongs. 
There's no time to waste. Um. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. Cute. What the freeze You have to go. You're welcome to the fucking torch. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. Can. And you will. My lord, I... By the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those fire Except... Cups. I'm gonna go you somewhere must do else. This for your house. Go! Oh, he had a axe's pocket. Foresters. <laughs> we love the fray. I think he meant glove. The North Glove must not be lost. And that's episode one of Game of Thrones. Tune in next time. Yeah! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I love Game of Thrones so much. Dang, they're doing the whole beginning. That's so terrific. Uh, polygons. Oh, man. Some of these textures... Uh, this is, is fine. Uh, I don't have to go to the wall, do I? I don't want to go to the wall. <laughs> I don't want to have anything to do with that. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. This is... Oh, are we going east? Ah, oh, we're not going east. Maybe next time. Ah, oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> Herbie, how's my uh, volume levels? Um, is there like a lot of like noise between me and like the game? I mean, I'm trying not to speak when they're speaking, but yeah, I love pigs. And bacon. Oh, oh. Okay, great. Thank you. Oh, where, where, where's that? Where's where's the pig? Oh, I I can't go anywhere. I just I, yeah yeah. Is this pig gonna be my co no no? Come on, pig. Be my, oh. Blood. Hope this isn't Chris's blood. blood. Fresh. Squire Smug is on the ca Oh my god. Murder! Someone's painted this pig. And killed it. And has left all the- Oh. Someone's smoking a pig. I thank goodness I had this great sword harness. Maybe I went back and found the body of my liege lord. And... Come on, there's gotta be like goods. Come on. Oh no. So there's a run toggle or something I'm missing. <clears throat> Hustle up. That's Father's car. What? What a coincidence! <clears throat> oh, Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming. Uh, at still have his bacon. Fucking Boltons. <laughs> no! Oh, these monsters. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <clears throat> Father. I said move on. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. 
It's awfully Former specific. Stark and have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? From a pig. Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. I don't feel compelled to give these guys any information. You didn't just find it, which means you must have stolen it. I don't know that that makes total sense. I don't that think I can wield too this. too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get You're too big for you. My land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Oh god, I Your hate his Bolton haircut. Is the new warden of the north. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. Ugh. <laughs> No. Oh, come on, Dad. I'll Hustle up. That sword boy. I need I need more party members. I you'll love it. Yeah. What a badass. Come on. Oh god. If only I was good at swords. Is he just gonna scream every single time that he's- Oh god damn it. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Pathetic. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Uh they are a pig farmer, on. Yeah, I'm proficient with this. <laughs> oh Game of Thrones. Get him. I guess I shout whenever I do anything too, so oh, thank you for waiting. Oh, now who's too big for who? Oh my god! Ugh. Oh, that's gonna hurt. This. this this is no that much I promise Oh man You guys killed my dad super hard Father Garrett you survived I'm so surprised your, your sister oh, She hid <laughs> Under that body that is my sister. Oh. I tried to stop them. Oh, Ga Game of Thrones. <clears throat> I'll kill the men who did this. Yeah, you will. But first. Pigs. This is cool. I like that they're taking us to a place that is not a known expected it's location. Garrett. It is Garrod. Get the castellan. Tell him his nephew survived. Also, open the front gate. Thank you. I was too late. Help. You were already dead. I'm bleeding a lot. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. <laughs> Meanwhile, the not so great hall. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? Pigs. My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. 
You have my condolences. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Can I turn those into mm, fighting Blade's experience? Deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the Whitehills won't see it that way. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. Yes. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Wait, what? Hold the wound open for me, would you? Uh... <laughs> I don't want to do that. Oh God, Game of Thrones! No! <laughs> oh, Twitch TV! Oh no! These are dark days. Lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> Welcome to my stream. The late Lord Forrester was a good man, and poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Ah, oh, everyone Very hates Lord Ethan. And altogether unprepared to lead. Mm. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? Oh, I don't want it. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. I... Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. Yes. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. <laughs> well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all low. Yes. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. To check I'd out like your leg. To walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. She's into legs. Now I really want to run, Button. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. All over the floor. I'll have a chair just like that one day. In fact. I think it's mine now. Here's here's a, a window. I, I have several yeah, of I these. We we choose not to render the ironwood grove for the shot. You you can sort of you you can you, you get the idea. Oh, holding RB um, does does a little bit of an accelerate. That's that's not bad. How do I get down? Help! I'll have a tapestry just like that one day. All right, so this is these these guys are dead, and then this is Ryan, Rion, Lady Forrester, Mira, Talia, and Eth. Oh my God, Ethan's got such a smirk too. Look at that. All right. Asha. Who who we got? Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Yeah, Essos. Let's go over there. That place is way Ethan. cooler. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Yeah, I mean Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Yeah. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. I'm sure that that will go off without a hitch. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forester myself. Ryan. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Except for me. Squire Smug. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine. Oh, I'm gonna touch this bucket. Rather cute little creatures. Oh they? god, it's full of maggots! It's literally filled to the brim with maggots. Why did I choose to touch the bucket? That's such a poor choice. Oh, telltale. This mile. 
I'm just gonna take take some of your stuff. I'm just gonna get gather up what I can find. Maesters can't own property, can they? I just these these belong these belong to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna back out of here and see if I can find some some gold pieces or. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Master or Tengrin. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. <laughs> Can I leave now? Um, I should show him that sword. Why? Okay. So Why the... do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Never mind. Th thanks for the backstory. Do you have any gold pieces in your pockets? Check this out. It's a good thing you've done, bringing <laughs> that back to House Forrester. <laughs> By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. Yeah. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of Foresters. Very well. I'll admit, you do seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Uh. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you. You sound Maybe. super relieved. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... And that other squire. Who I totally didn't abandon. I'm so sorry. Me too. Also, <laughs> I let your brother die. Actually, oh, dead now. I caused his death. By distracting him in the middle of a perfectly good melee combat. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. <clears throat> I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. <laughs> Yet he was unable to save his own son. Ah, oh, quit harping on you it. You were with Roderick, no? You got so many I'm sons. Sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Oh, that was Stark the wrong choice. Him to lead the van for the march on Casterly Rock. And then Rob Fitting Stark died. died. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the <clears throat> last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? He asked me to return this to House Forrester. Yeah! So this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you. Telling the truth without telling the whole truth. I can totally play a Game of Thrones. Especially now. Put, I'll put be sure it's given to Ethan. Yeah. Wait, no, give it back to me. Duncan. Wait, was she just inside the fireplace? They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with <clears throat> Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with oh, Ramsay Snow. Snow. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. Uh, They're the ones that should be demanding retribution. Ramsay Snow is coming here. Aye. He'll arrive within the week. Oh, that's such Both bad news. Say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. <laughs> we need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. 
And look where that got him. I don't know that Eddard Smark so, actually what's to be done? Eddard Smark. Oh gosh, I, I like Game of Thrones. <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Yes, it will it's be for that four year old. He barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. <coughs> but now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. It's just the excuse Ramsay nah. Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. But I'd like to see them try. Are they going to kick me it's out? A risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay. Oh man, Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But where would I go? The one. Place Don't send me to the wall. Don't send me to the wall, you fucking uncle. You're sending him to the wall. Oh the my. Boy's done nothing. God. Right. In the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution, especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction. And here I thought I wasn't going to rage quit. <laughs> I know that's not what you want. You... I know it's difficult to understand, but you must think of the house. Still not right. No, it's not. But it's what's best. <laughs> Uh, that settles it then. You can have my horse. Oh, thanks. I'll see you have thanks, fucker. Food, but we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Unfucking believable. Wait, I have to tell my uncle that secret. Word up to I'm me. still just in those I same clothes. I sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you're not a criminal. Hmm. Lord Forrester would be proud that you put in the Well, I've still killed one guy, remember. I think now I've just Lord killed Forrester's two guys. Best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. But also, I don't care about you. So I've some of the screenshots the right for this game... Tell you. <clears throat> what? Fuck you. Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? So I this haven't. This important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. What if I lied? Was right to put his trust in you. It said, "Yeah, I told everyone." When in fact I hadn't. Forward, this Interesting. Would be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But, but I'll I be at the wall. More just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But you're sending me to the wall. Like don't I don't have family anymore. Anyone at the wall? I become a ranger if you can. No, that's it will help. Not how the wall works. Like we're not gonna see each other ever again. <sighs> I. Iron from ice. Fuck you. Iron from ice. I would have much rather been able to choose. You fuck you. House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. You're literally sending me to, to prison. <laughs> I never want to see you again. You're literally sending me to the wall. I mean, I get it's so that Ramsey snowed. Like, are you. Do you really think that Ramsey Snow won't just burn the place down? Given the. Ah, oh, there's, there's a little, little bit of a smirk. Wait. 
Yeah. Be safe. I'll have to turn this in when I go to North Jail, but thanks. <laughs> uh, shouldn't I have a sword? Shouldn't you have given me a, a sword of some kind? Ethan? So some Ethan? of the screenshots had Tyrion in them. I wonder, uh... I wonder when I get to play as Tyrion, because... Find him. Could you? Um. He hides too well. So. If he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this <clears throat> game anymore. You can only get Maybe the entire season. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. But it's like twenty six dollars, twenty seven dollars, or something like that for all five episodes. Ryan. Look who we found. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. Oh my I god. I like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going it's... anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing, and- Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. What if Gareth oh, never- what if we just never see him again? Nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He'll be fine. Gareth is smart. No one will tell me what Garrod did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. It's what? true. And he calls you a milksop. What is a milksop? Sir Roiland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me, or, or what I'm capable of. What is milk so? Oh my god, Ethan's I voice. No, but I know it's not good. <laughs> Ethan, they also do not know what a milk sop is. Sword. Like, like a man. Yeah. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should yeah. know how to fight. Yeah. <laughs> and also should not be, like, terrified of hide and seek. Do you remember when we were younger? And we all used to play here. You, me, Roderick, Asha. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then... <clears throat> and everything changed. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. And he never smiled Even anymore. Even looks like a frog. And Asha... It's got like Asha frog just got angry eyes. At everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. No, I want to be angry I know all has the many time. Responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I hope you don't change. I'd rather have a brother than a lord. But since you're <clears throat> the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Yeah. Everyone will have to do as you say. Let's go kill some so snows. I, have all the sweets I, want. I mean, Fulton's. <laughs> that Not snows. That's kind of it would be generic. Nice if someone did what I wanted for once. Um, Ethan um, will um. be a good lord, a proper lord. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? <laughs> of course. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. That Morning. kid's gonna die. You're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. Oh, I'm gonna be so He's rude. Been demanding justice. I'm gonna be so rude. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. 
Stay with us. Please, Ethan. Oh my god. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Well, Fine. you are not the Lord, and winter is on the way. Very well, then. I've decided that Royland is my new dad. Yeah. Heartwarming smile, but also you're never gonna see me ever again. Cause winter is winter winter is imminent. Lord Whitehill. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained <laughs> to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. <laughs> it makes no Literally every protagonist just gets sent to the wall. <laughs> so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these. Deciding buttons. to come inside. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Yeah. Now, thanks, not Dad. Time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Yeah! Shouldn't I have like a lord hat? Or a, a circlet? Or a sword? Oh my god, he's so fat. He's disgusting. Lord Ethan, is it? Have him killed. My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. You're trying to rile me, but it won't work. I have no emotions. You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And Squint. No bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. Don't play no with your courtesies. hands. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Does little Lord Forrester know how to speak? You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Yeah. Bruce Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Yes. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Bread and salt. Clearly a universal sign of peace here in these times. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. You're a pig farmer. How do you answer farmer. for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the Lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving Indeed. until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. Uh, uh, what kind of fucking house is this? Uh, a house of honorable men. Uh. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? 
I mean no disrespect to you, my lady. Except Considering I wish that I had killed your husband. But this this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Yeah. Ethan is Lord Thanks, Mom. Wrath now. By rights, his word is law here. Thanks, Mom. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man <sighs> killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. Yeah. Ugh. Wait, he's dead. He got crushed by the door. Ah, oh, man. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when... Oh my god. I really don't want to talk to Ramsay Snow. I'm so scared. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Wait. Okay, that's fine. Yeah! Help us. Oh, okay. Although See, that's what I was wondering. Although she's a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. I don't, I don't think there's a knob on that door. What we got? What, what we got? What we got? Let's let's look in let's look in the box. Let's get our, get our items out of the box. Let's yeah. Finally, the money that I've been looking for. Ah, uh, it's from Young Kai. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Come on. Ethan made this for me. It's not from Essos. Let's look at the coin again. Wait. A brooch. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Oh, then it's probably poisoned. Don't, don't put it on. I, I can't read. Oh wait, yes I can. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Yeah. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Uh... Well, there are no weapons in there. Useless. Tome? Or... Yeah! King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. King's Landing, not pictured. Fine, we'll look at the tomb. Wonders made by man. By Lomas Long. Yeah! A gift from Roderick. Read it. Read the entire thing. I hope to see them all someday. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> the uh, House Stark parallels are getting a little decisive. You got. You got, you got the weird kid sent to the wall, and you got this little little lord guy, and you got this sister stuck in stuck it in the capital. Me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. What kind of fetch quest will Marjorie Tyrell require of me? One moment. Oh, 
Sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Um. Oh, okay. I've come to spread maggots around the room. Begging your pardon, lady, but you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Just five thousand more scoops of maggots, you and then I'll be on my lady way. Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Who is this guy? He's asking a few too many questions for like Sorry. someone that's not an assassin. I saw Lady Marjorie just this No, way. don't approach me. Inside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei. Oh. Uh, they appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but why? Why are you telling me this? I heard them he does... arguing about House Forrester and House Forrester. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. Oh my god, he's not to be trusted at See all. See hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. She, she also has frog eyes. I wonder if the... Do the foresters count as Kranigmen? They're... They're often like the the swampier. Oh my God, she's beautiful. Lady Marjorie, I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come. Hi. There's something we must discuss. Yeah. <laughs> and then Marjorie <laughs> sent her to the wall. <laughs> more as a friend than as my handmaiden, a dear friend, in fact. Oh, she's Thank playing you, me. Lady. Don't and don't you send know me to the wall. Feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. At the you wall. must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I... <laughs> she really is going to get sent to the wall. This is just terrible. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Oh. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? She intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands. But you're so beautiful. Audience. She wants. How could you ever be miserable? Of some sort. For what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would. Bring Wait, you what? To you're bringing me to Cersei? Holy shit! Important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Yes, that always works. Cersei is a rational, logical human being. Us. You didn't do anything. You just... Oh, that's fine. What? What? You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel <laughs> Yes. Good luck. Oh god. Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, can, can I like barehandedly fight a bear instead? Jess, I think you called it. 
You can do this. Uh, I, I, I don't. I, Ah, Lady Marjorie. Oh, God. You looking lovely this evening. Lord Terry. Why is his face so badly Grace? animated? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Hey, hey. I am honored, Your Grace. Hmm. Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. House Forrester is <laughs> a <laughs> house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask uh. the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet... For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. Oh. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. I take it this is the kind of loyalty the king can expect from you, if you have any loyalty at all. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Yes, Your Grace. Absolutely. Mm. I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey, if it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. <clears throat> Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Foster Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Well, nothing, perhaps. It's hard to tell, either way. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Y yeah I, I didn't do Grace that. raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Uh... Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Yes, this Loyalty is can be such a hard thing weird. to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Why are we doing this in this hallway? It's kind of weird. You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. Must it? And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. Who do you choose? Uh... I just
Hello, make a choice. Uh, Marjorie said to tell her what she wants to hear, so... The king, of course. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. What on earth would give you that idea? She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. Yes. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Yes. Which is not very encouraging. Yes. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Tyrion, hi! You, you, you want to get married? I'll walk you out. Let, let's get married. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. He thought I was a Even bucket. Then he didn't trust Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the crown. Ah, oh, his face. Them, nor should they. That certainly... His mouth me. animations are so, you like... So publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. Although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. Yes. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. Oh, good. Good. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Yeah, good guy Tyrion. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. Yeah, you of are course. A girl, aren't you? Yeah. I'll consider it. Thank you. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Yeah. Three Wait. beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest <laughs> of vipers. Yes. Uninitiated. Everyone to the to the wall. Mm. Again, they're in the main hallway. Didn't everyone just hear that complete conversation? Uh. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Oh, it was awesome. Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. No, you shouldn't have. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Yeah. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? It's true. Yeah. And She's got a thing for in hands. The red viper. I'm told he has a paramour. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate. From what I've heard. It's true. Perhaps Lady Look at those grapes! The right introductions. They're out of control. Knows, we might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Marjorie also can only imagine it. Would you marry Joffrey 
if it meant you'd become queen. He does have a certain look about him. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen, <coughs> you northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. <laughs> well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the seven kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Oh, thank you. Who Let's are you? Why are you in my room? Else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Oh, wow, what a Sir bitch! Bron and what are you doing? Goofing. I I was goofing, goofing around. Well, we're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it's, it's not men battle plan of thrones. The queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. No, I want to apologize. King's landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Yes. As I do. Do you agree? People are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. Yes. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Ah, uh, so... If I ask her for help... So I asked Tyrion for help, but he made it clear that, like, that would not be, like, very good with Marjorie. But wait, if the Purple Wedding is coming up, then Tyrion might not be, like, actually able to help. Let's just ask everyone for help. Everyone seems to like me so far. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. In re wait, that's weird. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Oh, she's totally gonna betray us. It's about my family. I trust her. I prefer to speak with you alone. Oh, Sarah, you're such a bitch. Ah, <sighs> oh, Tyrion's mouth was so terrible. But Marjorie's is just, like, so much better animated. Go on. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Yeah, yeah, family loyalty. Oh, no. What would you have me do? My what? mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. Yeah. That is no small request. Especially now. I know, my lady. And I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Dudes are getting Joffrey sent to the wall left and right. On such a request. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... 
don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Yeah. Ramsay Snow will What a fun game! This is so good. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Oh. Everything is going to go poorly. No! Squire Smug. You're so grimy. Hey, that's my horse. Seven elves. Okay. I am loyal to the father. I am loyal to have both. No. This be some, some brotherhood without banners action. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies no, as I, I know, I don't know, no, no, I <laughs> it's just yes, uh, is uh, is I I not my uh, best work, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I, I, I suppose I have uh, full uh, enough practice. Uh, I, but he didn't make it easy. Uh, what with all that bloody noise, <laughs> like a drowning cat. Uh, I thought he'd never stop. Uh, As my father likes uh, to say. Uh, the naked man holds few secrets, but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Uh, you didn't know your father is the warden of the Lord. Oh, don't look at me! Don't look at me! He does now. Uh, this is like one of these. How like much a, further is it? Like a like a sneaky he mission. Foresters. It's not a, a particularly Game hard name to say. Most. What was that? What was that? The Lord. Shh. Listen. Oh, uh, please don't get captured by Ramsey Snow. <laughs> there. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Uh... <laughs> oh man, I've not often been like actually scared of a video game. a campfire? That's irresponsible. Hey. God, I hope he's dead. Please, please be dead. Please don't be someone I know. Oh, lord. And that's when I hurried along to the wall. Lord Ethan! As I was saying, you are young. <laughs> and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. You have but to climb faster if you want to lecture me. generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Dead. Lord Gerhard the Tall? who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. That's stupid. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new Lord. Lord Ethan the Stern. These were your father's people to lead and protect? And now they're yours. These four dudes. Did not bear this responsibility alone. 
He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. What? Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. That's convenient. How about my four-year-old brother? Keep walking with your broken legs. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! <laughs> Lord Ethan. Mist. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! What? We all fucking know it! <laughs> Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Hmm. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family no. to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that. But it won't be you who's starving come winter. Mm. You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. He can send him to the war. God! I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. Taking his fingers seems a sight more merciful. Me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. Than sending him to the wall. You totally Please, stole stuff. My lord, my family depends on me. I, Ethan of House Forester, Lord of Ironrath, name you. A thief. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. Oh, please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! You can do all kinds of things with just two I fingers. Come on. It is the Lord's duty to carry it. Yes! <laughs> I am willing to carry it out. I will carry out. Yeah! <laughs> I've waiting for this shit my whole life. Injustice, my lord! You definitely want to have more than one hand on that. I don't know if you've ever chopped chopped a thing before. Oh, that was a good chop. That was a good chop, kid. Holy shit. Alright, well, go home now. Hey sis, did you see how I chopped those fingers? Holy shit. <laughs> certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. What are you talking about? That was awesome. Of course. I did what I had to do, and it didn't bother me. Yeah, what a badass. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. How about my sister? Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Yeah, talk to everyone. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. 
I understand. I'll do it now. Wait, now? Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. I mean, it's 12.30 in the afternoon, but we can do it. Whatever. The Boltons are coming. We're all gonna die. Man, thank goodness I'm playing this game. There's gotta be more than those two, right? Let's... Look at the food! Yeah! A flayed pig! Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again. A naked pig has sure. few secrets, but a flayed pig has even fewer. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My yeah, they, they could do some hunting and some trapping. Whoa, whoa. Um, let me talk to this maester again, see if there's any, any more details with, that he can perhaps share. I guess I'll look at this maester first. It's not a whole lot of chainage you got there going, guy. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? Yes. We could ransom I'm ourselves. sure that would work. You can hardly put a price on your own life. Ransom or a robbery? We may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Um, uh, it's not very... I, I guess... I guess it's kind of Game of Thrones. I'm gonna see if my sister is interested in... What? Who's who's that guy? I'm not sure who this is. Let's let's find out what what's what's your deal, Malcolm? Why are you here? Or should I say Lord Ethan? Yes. Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. It's actually kind of hard to axe a thing. Particularly a small moving target. Excuse me, my lord. With one hit. Finish packing before nightfall. Packing? I hope to be off tomorrow. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Yeah! She has Essos. asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. Hmm. You know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. Yeah, with an axe. I'm sure you do. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He is my new dad. He'd be a fine choice. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Yeah. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. With an axe. <laughs> Oh, 
Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Oh, Did good. she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She oh my god. A family What's wrong with your eyes? Us. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. The way you punished him. Oh, right. I forgot. How could you be so cruel? I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? You think it's easy. I'm the third born son. Father never prepared me for this. I'm doing the best I can. With an axe. I know you are, Ethan. I know. <laughs> I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. Did I do badly with Whitehill? I'm not the sure. People want me to lead. I guess. I guess my mom had to step up, so. What? But then Royland was impressed with me. Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart and everyone trusts his judgment. So Royland is <laughs> unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. He is likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. What else what else we got here? That's uh that's that's that one guy. But Sir Duncan knows what's what's up with the, the North Grove that that can't be lost. What, what do we got over here? Let's let's look at this portcullis. Why don't you try climbing it and seeing like bird visions? Go on, kid. It'll be fine. Slash right. That means now. Hey. Careful. Keep at it, and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. <clears throat> Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine two brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this. Ah. Uh, so I remember. That I mean, is adorable. Forget, but. Oh. You know, don't you? I'm honored. Yay! Huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Someday I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll what? have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. He's gonna be dead by the end. Was he our enemy? A bad man. Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. Yeah. I this kid's got it. Sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Yeah. Sweet. That wood's not black. What's what's going on here? Uh, let's talk to Dad. Let's talk to New Dad. See see what he's got going Sword on. Hold up! Swing left. Barry. Wrong. I didn't know so dogs could hold swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. Uh. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, you should know that swinging that blade yourself took stones. It was a man's way of justice. Thanks. Thanks, Dad. Mm, so... Picking Duncan feels like the smart thing to do. But... 
Yeah, like. Now, when I say parry, get that sword out. Let's see if there's any like secrets up here that I've missed. Good. I wonder if I don't wonder if there's a godswood in this uh, th this here castle. Slash and parry. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Um. Yes. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Yes. <laughs> Ryan seems to have the right attitude for the job. I wish I could have asked my mom's opinion on this. She seems to know what's up. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Uh... Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Mom, will you, will you be my will you be my sentinel? Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Oh, don't look so fucking pleased this, with yourself. This is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. Shut up. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Uh. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's <coughs> ride from here. That's With no really time close. to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Let's Boltons need ha have like a flay for all. The ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. It seems like a Make really bad military you me, move. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. Let Sir Royland speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say. Sir Royland. No, no. You chose your sentinel. He should speak on this. God damn it. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, um... please. I think fighting superior numbers... Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I yes. trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Hmm, yes. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Um... Diplomacy with, like, a crazy person sounds nuts. Fighting someone who is very clearly stronger than us sounds nuts. We will Based bargain. Based on what Tengren has swayed me, we will offer the Boltons a share of the Ironwood, and we will promise our people to harvest it, thus securing their safety. As Sentinel <laughs> and Castellan, I must warn against this. You may do this for some gain now, 
But in the end, it will starve this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. I'm sorry, Ethan Dad. has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Who is dead. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Nobody does approve. We could offer him the iron wood in the courtyard. My lord, making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble. And all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private. And he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan? Yes. I will meet him in the great hall. A wise move, my lord. Thank it's you. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Yeah. Take that, Apologies, dad. My son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. I feel like I've made a huge mistake. But then I'm pretty sure that no matter what I would have done, I would have felt like I had made a huge mistake. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Shut up. Forgive me. You're not my sentinel anymore. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing. But there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Hmm. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. That's what we need now. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. You're a thinker, Ethan. You contemplate, and a lord needs that. But a lord also needs swords. <laughs> My mom is all about this violent son. <laughs> Which I'm I mean, trying to do what's best that's fine. For this family, sometimes what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. And have many bloody adventures. Which we will play in the next episode. Thank you, Ethan. I hope. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I'm so bored. A strange key.
Tyrell, oh my god. That seems duplicitous. I'm gonna keep this. And then also, I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna put it back down again because it's not mine and it's Marjorie? wrong to steal things. Oh. Hi, not Marjorie. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you might want to know. Thank you. It's not that I don't trust you, it's just that I don't trust you. I thought we were friends, you. Mira. When you dismissed me the other day, I won't say it didn't hurt my feelings. We've known each other for years. We are friends, Sarah. Truly. Friends trust one another. They don't hold secrets. That's not now true. Now Lady Marjorie thinks you don't trust me. And she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... But also, I don't trust you. That dress My is lady. glued to I'll her back. To talk. Stay. Come on, stick around. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. Ah. He said I was too easily swayed, and he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear, for now, but it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan. You could shoot him with a crossbow. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. That could work. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. Idiot. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now... Now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse uh... me, my lady. But wait. What about... Milady. Oh. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. It's awfully I hope specific. You saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. A allies are will be useful to you. This guy is awfully I, verbose. I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who. People who'd be willing to help you. Ah, uh, this. this kind of think we'd see like an abusive member of the king's guard or something like that that'd be that'd be bad this is all bad this is all very bad don't look at me stop it oh, 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 poking out po poking out from behind a tabard there where's the royal that's all we got from her come on now here. come on the man values pride more than honor we'll do without him and without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. I don't think that that's Your true. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. 
It will work so long as everyone does their part. Uh Wait, what? it's just them? Isn't this a lovely pile of timber. Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, ah. Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the you. Kill him. That's enough. Lud. What an awful banner man. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. <laughs> Aren't you the little lord? The Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> A token for the new warden of the north. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Hmm. <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Don't look so smiley. It seems the foresters have a talent for something after all. Lord Ramsay, we have another gift we'd like to offer to you. There are several ironwood groves along the borders of our land, all producing tall, strong trees. We'd like to give them to you in tribute. To me? Yeah. That's very kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, please don't kill me. Please, oh, don't. That. Please don't kill my sisters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Oh, boy. We really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay. I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. Yeah. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now. Was it? Nah, oh, man. Piece of cake. Marty, play it short. I don't care about your loyalty. Oh no! And I care even less about a bunch of trees on some far off hill. The crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying <clears> the Starks <throat> for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. We will double our efforts for your father, my lord. That's a good little lord. You can't Please trust don't kill me. Forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Uh. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. No, please don't kill me. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them. You cut them down. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name. 
Of course. They know oh, nothing yeah. about a cultivated yeah. forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years? Or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. Yeah. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. That's as good as you're gonna get from Ramsay Snow. Better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of twenty men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> oh, Ramsey, you're so good. Oh, no. Hey. Hey, hey. What? You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. <laughs> Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Oh, boy. Lord Ramsay, please. What if Ryan just you. stabbed the hell out of Ramsay? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. This is so tense. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. Lord Snow? Oh, that's a bad idea. You come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty. Your sister. We'd get along well. <laughs> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? I'm so stressed out. <laughs> oh my god! What have you done? But I don't want a bold lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No, no, no. Even though you did bend the knee. I, I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan! I certainly feel Ethan. better about all this. He's what have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy of your war. No! Kill him. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the base so quickly! You brought this on to sell. Mama! Stop! Don't let him take me! Oh, let it go! Stop that! Don't no, please! Stop it! Let me go! Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Oh, my son. Uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, mercy. What we got? What, what, what we got coming here? What, what we got up ahead? Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. Yeah.